Hello friends, welcome to it's Crypto Info. My name is Rizwan Khan and in this video we are going to implement an amazing React.js project. So it's a web messenger project. We are going to implement this project using React.js and Firestore. So Firestore is a real-time database from Google. We can use this database for real-time communication and it's a free for starters as well as for the startup companies. So they can also use uh, this Firestore uh, for their project. And I'm really thankful of uh, thankful to all of you for my uh, last video I have uploaded in my uh, YouTube channel. So it, it was a blog project using React.js and it looks like internet hung. So here, uh, like I'm very, very thankful of uh, all of you. You have given me a, such a wonderful response I didn't expect uh, because I was not uh, uploading videos on my channel regularly. But after uh, getting such response from all of you, I have decided to upload uh, videos on a regular basis, like at least two, three videos in a week on different topics of uh, web developments and all. So thank you so much for all the wonderful response and love you have given me. I really appreciate all of this. Thank you so much. So let's move back to our project. So now let me show you how this is going to work. So let me log in here as a some user like Imran at the rate web script dot info. One, two, three. So let me log in and uh, boom. So yeah, I haven't given any kind of uh, effects like yeah, it's logged in. So that is not an issue. The main purpose is to make this messenger work, right? So here I'm logged in as Imran, as you can see, hi Imran Khan. And in this uh, another tab, I'm going to log in as another user. So let's say some user I have show you at the rate web script. Uh, I have spelling script, uh, yeah, it's fine. So we had read webscript.info, password for the Joey and log. So don't say it, please. And here on the right side, I have logged in as the Joey Tribbiani. And uh, uh, let's start communicating with each other. So I have I, oh, I have Joey Tribbiani over here. So yeah, both the uh, messengers share the same user. So it's not like based on the uh, request and accept of the request. So whoever gets logged in in this messenger can speak with other person. Like it's a one-on-one -on -one chat system. Okay, so let me uh, do some messages. Let me open over here in run. So on the right side, I have Imran. On the left side, I have Chui. And now Imran is going to message to the Chui. Hey, uh, uh, Chui, how are you? And see, both sides uh, uh, of the messenger, like send, and you can see, hey Joey, how are you? And you can also see over here, hey Joey, how are you? And here I'm going to respond like, yeah, I am fine. How are, so it's the same, like, how are you? No, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm fine. And boom, I'm fine. So it's working and it is working very well. So we have used a real-time database that is Firestore and we are going to use the same in this project. So let me close both of them and close the messenger as well. And, and, and uh, let's, okay, I, have, I shouldn't close this browser. So uh, I have a folder in my desktop that is react-projects, open it. And here I'm going to open my git bash and right click and if you're uh, using git bash it's fine or you can simply create it like i'm going to open my uh, bash here git bash over here you can use any terminal if you want like uh, whatever you have uh, you can uh, even use command prompt it's not a problem so right now i'm in my folder react hyphen projects and i'm going to create a project uh, using react so npx uh, create hyphen react hyphen app and the project name that is web hyphen messenger. So npx create react app web messenger, hit enter. So now it will take a couple of minutes to complete this project. And uh, uh, what if you uh, want to use a different uh, uh, package manager tool, like uh, instead of npm, you can use yarn. That is much faster, better. Well, I would suggest, yeah, from the next time, uh, I will also use yarn instead of npm. It takes a lot of time. To complete the project so yeah we have to wait a lot of times
So while it is installing, we are going to create a Firebase project that's very important. So back to your browser and open it. Okay, and uh, okay, let's try Firebase. And hit it. So here, what you need to do, first you need to log in with your Google account. So I'm already logged in with my Google account. And now I'm going to use uh, Firebase. So Firebase, hit enter. And the first uh, uh, official link is firebase.google.com. You can see over here also, this firebase.google.com. You can do a uh, get started, click over this. So we need to create a Firebase test. And here. So here we need to create a Firebase project and you can see I have a plus option add project and I already have one project with the name here Chase. So I'm going to create one more project so you can simply scratch, start from the scratch. Give it, give it a name like, uh, okay, I'm going to give it a name web-messenger and simply don't use my project for your, uh, for your project, right? Please create your own project otherwise it will be a problem because I'm going to delete it. Uh, okay, let's do the clue. This is the second step and select your uh, account like default account for Firebase. Yeah, perfectly default and create project. Next step and it is creating your project with the name Web Messenger. So what we are going to, uh, so here we need uh, two things. One is uh, the authentication system we are going to get the authentication system from the firestore and uh, the database a real-time database that is firestore so we are going to use two different product from the firebase and it's finishing up so web messenger is created your new project is ready now i can continue so i have a new project simply i have created here web messenger right so what purpose i'm going to use this project you have to simply specify you can use it for ios android or web so right now I'm simply going to use for Android. So I'm going to click on this web icon and uh, you can see now our project is ready. I have to create an app, right? So in one project, you can create multiple apps. Uh, okay, so let me create the app and uh, it is again going to the name like Messenger or React JS. Okay, I should have give a perfect name to the project, but right now I have no option. So ReactJS hyphen messenger, ReactJS hyphen messenger and register, I also set up Firebase hosting. No, I don't want hosting, register app, right? Okay, next step is to continue to console and that is fine. Android SDK, we need, sorry, Firebase SDK we need and here is the configuration that is important for all of us and here this is what this is the configuration right so we are going to need this configuration but uh, right now i can simply ignore it or i can continue to the console okay cool so you can see i have added a new app within my project web messenger that is here an app name is react.js messenger right and so uh, i'm done with my uh, firebase firestore project and app creation so i'm done with my project creation and app creation next thing i'm going to uh, do some configuration with the authentication so i'm going to use firebase authentication system yeah i'm totally going to use fire firebase for uh, all the backend thing so with this uh, i can stick to one language like javascript i don't need to move any any other language like php or other languages for backend right so i will simply use fire uh, javascript for all purposes right so here i have users sign in methods template so set up sign in methods click over here and and here i have a couple of options like uh, uh, how i'm going to uh, my user logged in inside the app so there are uh, there are options like email password that's a very uh, uh, usual way phone google plugins facebook twitter and a lot of other options 
So, so to keep things simple, I'm going to use email and password. So here I'm going to use the email and password. So allow users to sign up using their email address and password. Yeah, let's uh, make it double. And uh, email link password less sign. In. No, I don't want. Just save it. So I have enabled my email and password uh, authentication system. Now I can go to the some other configuration. Okay, done. so email and password, go back to authentication system, click over this and you can see I have a, a table, right? Identifier, providers, created, sign in, UID. So whenever our user is going to log in in our a app, so I'm going to store uh, their email address, user uh, profile, informations in this table right next thing uh, i'm going to use database that's uh, again a real database so uh, firebase provides two database one is real-time database another one is firestore and firestore is also a real-time database so the architecture is quite different uh, of both the database so here i'm gonna use uh, create a database cloud firestore and you can see a uh, start in production mode, start in test mode. So if you go with test mode, like anyone can read and write in your database without authentication, right? Without user verification. And with start in production mode, like it requires authentication before perform writing. So let's go with the production mode. That's cool, no problem. And after you set this location, you cannot change it later. Yeah, so you, can, you have to choose a location like uh, whatever the location you can choose like here asia europe us east so once you have chosen this location you cannot change it again so i will keep it like us central now i'm fine name that's fine i don't care what is it so it's uh, arranging and uh, providing uh, infrastructure for us so it is doing its background job uh, let him do setting up security rules and all and our database is ready so here what we are going to see start collection so I can create a collection. Collection, you can, if you are from a relational database background, collection means simply a table. Then again, you're going to hear a word document. So that document means a row inside the table. And next, you know, like fields and values and all. So let's, our database is almost done. Uh, like uh, we are ready with our Firestore, uh, okay? And now uh, we are going to show you like, yeah. So our React.js project is already completed so it's a long uh, yeah it's it's it's, uh, it's the installation is uh, uh, of the project is completed and you can simply do ls if you're in your git bash or dir if you're in your windows directory let me navigate to the web messenger web messenger and here we have our project sorry ls and this is we have now i'm going to use vs code for all the uh, coding part so you can simply type code dot if you are using VS Code or you can open your project web messenger in any, any of your favorite text editor. Once again, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, and support me. Okay, thank you. So this is our uh, react.js architecture and if you know my uh, if you have already watched my previous couple of videos you know i have already explained all the architectures and all so everything we are going to simply interact with this src folder we are going to create all the components and files and everything inside this src folder nothing else special about it and let's close the thing so one thing i want to tell you like package.json here i have uh, whenever i will install something new i will uh, install a library that is going to be available over here so you can see i have uh, something like uh, a dependencies so a couple of dependencies is already uh, mentioned over here because of uh, we have installed a react.js right so react.js dependencies are there here now uh, i'm going to install another thing 
So for that, we have to go through the documentation. Go to docs. So we need to install Firebase to work with Firebase. So there are a couple of options over here, like get started for Android, iOS, and web. So I'm gonna simply go with the web. And here uh, is the documentation. So add Firebase to your JavaScript project. We are already done with the step one. Step two, register your app with a Firebase. And that is also done. Next, uh, like add Firebase SDK and initialize Firebase, right? So here we have option like option URLs, CDN, module bundles, Node.js apps, and a lot of things here, right? So what are you gonna see here? So what we, uh, we are going to create a bundle, right? With the project, so we're using uh, module bundle bundlers. And you can see, we can do the npm install Firebase. So simply by doing this, copy this and go to your uh, Firebase, not Firebase, React.js and paste over here. So it will install the Firebase so we can make use of Firebase. Now we need uh, the configuration file. First time we have seen uh, this one, Firebase config object. So we uh, we need this config object, object so we can make uh, we can connect our project, our local project with the Firebase app so they can communicate with each other, right? So uh, go back to Messenger and I can see that thing again. So maybe project settings, project settings and yeah, here we have. So you can see, see the same things for the Firebase, like Firebase config we have. As you can see, the installation of Firebase library is already completed and they installed successfully like uh, one library is installed. So we are done with our uh, Firebase uh, uh, setup and all. Uh, okay, let's go back to your... Okay, uh, the next uh, configuration, uh, we are done with our all the setups, right? Now we are ready to... So now we are done with all, all, all of our setups and we have uh, installed our project. We have installed the required uh, Firebase library in our React.js and we have already created the Firestore projects and database and all. So in the next video, we will start uh, setting up the project architectures, UI authentication system. Thank you guys. So guys, uh, please like, share and subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe so I can produce more such amazing videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.